In this episode, we will choose the optimal location for the charging station of the Smart Seleno Free and we'll set it up there. If you have a Smart Seleno Pro or a Smart Seleno Max, check out the video for setting up the charging station for those specific mowers. It is helpful to create a layout of the garden beforehand to find the best place for the station. The space should be leveled so that the mower is able to drive in and out smoothly. It is possible for the station to be outside the lawn, but it is important that there is a clear area of 2 meters in front of it. Make sure that there are no metal objects near the charging station. To help the mower run smoothly, it is important that the docking point has a stable GNSS, such as a satellite connection. Make sure that there is at least 6 meters of free space around the charging station and the docking point. Therefore, no trees, roofs, or other high objects that could block the signal. The charging station should be set up in a location with a good view of the sky, so that the connection to the satellites is reliable. There must also be a power supply near the charging station. A 3-meter cable is included in the kit. Longer cables are available as accessories from Gardena. Once you have placed the base plate, connect the charging unit to the plate from behind and then clip it into the designated recess. Then insert the cover into the station from above. Take the provided power supply unit and connect it to the black and white low voltage cable on one side and to the charging station on the other. Plug the power supply unit into a socket and briefly check that the LED on the charging station lights up green. Finally, secure the base plate with the fixing screws. Now you can push the robotic lawnmower into its charging station for the first time. It will switch itself on automatically, which you can confirm by checking the flashing LEDs on the top. In this episode, we will guide you through the process of installing the Gardena Smart Gateway and explore the many functions of the Gardena Smart app. Before you start using your new Smart Seleno robotic lawnmower, you should install the Gardena Smart Gateway inside your house. The gateway is not waterproof and should therefore not be installed in the garden. Important to know, the Smart Gateway is already included with the Smart Seleno Free. However, if you have a Smart Seleno Pro or Smart Seleno Max and would like to use it with the Gardena Smart app, you would need to buy the gateway separately. You only need one gateway for all your Gardena Smart devices. Without the gateway, you can control the mower via the Bluetooth app, but you must always stay within a maximum radius of 10 meters from the mower. The Smart Gateway connects all your Gardena Smart devices to the Gardena Smart app so that you can control them from anywhere. It should be installed in a dry and central area of your home to ensure reliable connection. To activate the gateway, simply plug it into a socket and connect it to your router using a LAN cable. After installation, open the Gardena Smart app to activate the gateway and connect it to your devices. The basic functions of the Gardena Smart app are similar to those of the Bluetooth app. At the beginning, you establish the connection by opening the Gardena Smart app and connecting it to your mower. You can then create an individual mowing plan for your garden. If you want to mow certain areas manually, the app offers a manual control option. The app also allows you to monitor the battery charge and the current status of your mower at any time. Lona technology gives you greater control over your garden. You can activate Lona on the app to see the live position of your mower on a map of your garden and monitor where the mower currently is in real time. The Smart Seleno Max and Smart Seleno Pro automatically create a detailed map of your garden, which you can then edit in the app. With Area Protect, you can define areas where the mower should not mow to protect spots like young plants or freshly sown lawns. With the stay-in zones, you can set up areas that the mower should maintain regularly. You assign individual schedules to these zones. Start by attaching the installation aid to the left-hand side of your mower. This ensures precise setup and the zero point. The end of the installation aid serves as an important reference. Now, 
open the Gardena Smart app on your smartphone and complete the installation by following the instructions in the app. This includes a simple pairing process via Bluetooth to your smartphone, and then continue with programming the charging station. The app will guide you through the entire process. Make sure you define a docking point where the mower will find its way back into the charging station. Important! At this position, there should be a clear view of the sky without trees or roofs that could interfere with satellite reception. Next, teach your mower the boundaries of your garden. Use the remote control function in the app to navigate the mower along the garden boundary. Make sure that you guide the mower clockwise around the garden. The zero point of the installation aid does not have to be exactly on the virtual boundary wire because you're only marking the corner points. The paths in between are irrelevant. The garden boundary is defined by setting polygon points. Don't worry if you make a mistake. You can adjust, delete, or extend these points at any time. Go around the boundary of your garden in a clockwise direction Zones such as garage entrances can also be easily included in the garden contour if you want the mower to drive over them to reach other mowing areas. For your smart Seleno Free to work optimally, it should have a clear view of the sky to establish a strong satellite connection. Obstacles such as high walls, roofs, or dense treetops can impair reception. Once the garden contour has been learned, you can define the mowing area. You have the choice of either using the entire garden contour as the mowing area or creating specific mowing zones. Before you start the mower for the first time, you should clear the garden of anything that could interfere with the mowing process. This includes garden hoses, tools, children's toys, balls, and similar objects. The cutting height of the robotic lawnmower is set to level 4 by default. It is recommended to adjust the cutting height as required after a few days. To do this, turn the switched off mower onto its back. Remove the cap from the blade disc and set the desired cutting height by pressing the disc down. Level 4 is the highest and level 1 is the lowest. To start the mowing process, press the start button in the app and confirm the duration to start immediately. The mower will first drive to its starting point where it will begin mowing, or select by schedule to start the mower at the next schedule. When the mower reaches the edge of the lawn, it will perform its trim to edge movement to mow as close as possible to the edges of the lawn, even if there are solid obstacles such as a fence. The mower uses the rear cutting blade to mow precisely to the edge. If there are no solid obstacles in your garden that reach the edge of your lawn, such as areas that the mower can easily cross, you can deactivate the Trim to Edge feature in the app if desired. This function is activated by default. Everything is now ready. Initially, it's better to watch the mower from the patio to make sure that everything is running smoothly. This garage is mounted directly onto the charging station and protects the mower from rain, UV radiation, leaves, and dirt. The Smart Seleno Free, as well as the Smart Seleno Pro and Max, are inherently weatherproof, which makes cleaning particularly easy. You can simply hose it down thoroughly from all sides. It can withstand this without any problems. By the way, the mower does not need a special rain sensor to know when it should not operate in the rain. It can work in almost any weather. For more practical accessories and further information, simply visit Gardena. Back to the garage. First, remove the top cover of the charging station and loosen the ground screws if you have already tightened them. Attach the supplied base piece to the back of the base plate and anchor the entire plate securely to the ground using the ground screws. Then, push the two upper parts of the garage together and secure them with the matching pins. Finally, place this part back on top of the charging station and your Seleno garage is ready for use. It is weatherproof and stable, but be careful not to put any weight on the garage. 